Hello. This time we are going to talk about this thing here. Uh, this is LCD panel. Uh, you see it has some connectors on the back side. It has a display on the front side. And this is what we are what we are going to use. We want to display here some data. Okay. There are several types of these. I would again ask the original Heinz if you would please also want to, to build up the hardware in the meantime. Real Heinz, I would be delighted. So I'm going to start my, my hardware setup. Okay. This is how it's going to look like. Yeah. This is how it's going to look like. You see, it's just some wires. So I will be ready very soon. Okay. So, real hands, please explain what LCD really means. Okay. Thank you. In the meantime, you will see, I will be finished. Okay, thank you very much. This is nice. Uh, well, so let's let's look what LCD means. L C D means liquid crystal display. Liquid crystal display. Okay. This type of, of technology does have two, two really, two sheets of glass. These are the glass sheets, okay. Usually you don't see, we don't see them because they are really, really close to each other. Okay. And the space, the space between, between the, the glass sheets is filled up with a strange material called liquid crystal. Okay. Liquid crystal. Usually this liquid crystal is liquid. Okay. Usually this liquid crystal is liquid and we can see through it. So there is some liquid inside. Okay. This is a special liquid. LCD liquid. Good. Then here on the glass, we don't really see it because it's so tiny. Yeah. So there are connectors or there are, there are, uh, copper copper squares or whatever yeah usually this this here is built in 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 in, in pixel yeah so we have pixel squares here and we we apply here some uh, voltage suddenly in between here this liquid get solid and then it's uh, acting a little bit like a crystal. What does it do now? It polarizes light. So if you would imagine a light ray which is coming directly to you, yeah? so, wow, light ray, yeah? then there are, I mean, I, I, I'm sure you know light consists of several of several uh, wavelengths, and they are they are swinging this direction, swinging in this direction to you, swinging in this direction with different wavelengths and different colors. Every every direction is possible. Yeah. If this LCD is turned on here, yeah, then we only 
it polarizes light and polarized light means it is only allowed to swing in this direction. Yeah? So only I can only see a part of the light. Yeah? The other parts of the light, the ones which are swinging this and this and this and this and every other direction, they are filtered out. Okay? But it still looks like light. I don't see this polarization. I cannot see it. Okay? Maybe it's a little bit darker because I don't have the total total amount. Okay? So back there here I have a so-called polarization filter. Okay? This polarization filter does the following. It already allows allows uh, light only pass in this direction, 90 degree to the other one. Okay. So, if now the light back there, there is there is a light source here. Yeah. Background lighting. There is the sun. Background lighting. Usually artificial light source, yeah. Background lighting. Now I'm, we're passing this polarizing filter. From this background lighting, only this part of swinging is passed. Yeah? If there is no voltage, then it passes simply through the liquid crystal, and that's it. I can see the light. If I turn on voltage here, then only this light would be allowed to pass. Okay, so only this light would be allowed to pass. However, yeah, I only have this light, so no light is passing, and suddenly this dot here looks black. Yeah. I have here a black dot. I will not draw it. I have here a black dot, and if I then distribute my black dots like that they are forming some sort of, of, of pattern again, then they look like a D or an I or an S or a P or whatever. Yeah? And this is exactly what is in here. Yeah? There is a background lighting, it's here. Yeah? This is an LED. It the, the it will light in this it will light in this direction. Yeah? And it will fill up fill up the background with light. And up here, you will see there are a lot of tiny, tiny, tiny spots. These are this one. Yeah? And because they are so flat, I, we can simply see through them. Yeah? That's not, not a problem. Yeah, this is how an LCD is working. From the principle. Yeah. It's not totally black. Yeah, because a little light is always shining through because there are so thin things, but it's working pretty well. Yeah, maybe on on TV screens we have an issue there with, with backlight and so on, and then there is backlight dimming. Uh, yeah, but now you know the principle how this LCD is working, and maybe you can dig deeper inside if you're interested. Here, we are connecting this thing. Yeah, so two of these connections are just for the background lighting. To turn it on and off. Yeah. Some of these connections are, are for data, some of them are for controlling information, so it's really getting complicated. However, we just have to use from our Arduino, we just have to use here some in and outputs. Yeah. We just have to use some in and outputs, connect them in the right method to here and control them with a pattern, the LCD does understand. It has a little driver on there, there are also uh, intelligent chips on there, and these two have to, to talk, and then there is really something written. Yeah. When you remember, when you remember how complicated it was to get, to get this 
thing, uh, this this last thing, this this four-digit LED display working with this shift, yeah, this is much more complicated, yeah, because now I have a lot of dots and a poo poo poo. Okay. Luckily, luckily, somebody did do the job, and there is a so-called library. Okay. So, this library will then be shown by the original Heinz, yeah, from my side. I think that's it for the explanation. Okay. Thank you very much for this, for this listening to me. Yeah. Now, back to the original Heinz with the ready hardware, hopefully. <laughs> it's already waiting. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. 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 Yeah. So, original Heinz, please take over. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, real Heinz. I finished the hardware setup. Thank you, dear. I finished the hardware setup. Here, I can adjust the contrast. Turn it off and on. So there's some ground level of contrast here. Up to now. We just display some grab, yeah, just some dots here. Yeah. Uh, this hopefully will change. And here, this thing here, this power supply here, this is the background lighting, you see? And you can even see it now, but not that good. And with background light, we see it. Yeah. Typical behavior of an LCD. So, let's have a look at the software. Hardware setup is done, let's have a look at the software. Like the real hands already mentioned, it's quite complicated to turn off and on all these in and outputs in a correct manner. Okay? So, this is why we are going to use a so-called library. We already used the library with this EEPROM library, but this time we need to install a library. Okay? This installing of the library is easier than it sounds. Under the tools, under the tools uh, menu, you will find manage libraries. Okay, press this button, then it will take a while, and then you will see all possible libraries. There's also it will run an update, yeah? and we get a list of libraries which are available in in directly in our IDE. Okay, now we just have to to uh, find out which library we are using and I'm telling you now we are using the liquid liquid crystal. Here it is. Yeah. Here it's mentioned it is already installed. Yeah. the 1.0.7 that's great so we do not have to install it if we would have the need to install it then we just had to press here install great so we do not have to install it so we can simply use it like the EEPROM yeah. so remember what we did there yeah. what we did there was an include statement but before I will save this under a proper name save as Peter Shovsky. where are we already? oh it's 16 16 LCT save okay so include include in include ah that is also pain include okay. and the library name liquid crystal dot h okay. with this liquid crystal uh, library we can 
control our our LCD. Okay, so we are now defining the pins. Define LCD RS pin. That is a pin number seven. Then we have the enable. I'm just. This is just the the labeling on the on the LCD panel itself. Yeah. The good thing is, if we are, if we don't fully understand what these things are, the library is taking them, is taking this from us. Yeah. You just have to either you learn how to control those LCD, or you learn how to code the library. Something you have to learn anyway. So these are our outputs now. Okay. And then our library also needs, it is a generic library, so it is not only working for this LCD panel, it's working for a lot of LCD panels. And we have to tell this library, hey, this my LCD panel has that many columns, so how many signs per line are there? Yeah. These are 16 in our case, and how many lines are there? In our case, these are two. Yeah. So I will also define this LCD columns, colors, 16, and then we have the rows. These are two. Okay. And now the LCD itself is inside the library is given as a so-called object. So basically it is another type of, of uh, variable. Okay. Liquid liquid crystal crystal. Yeah. And I'll write LCD. And then we need to give all those pins LCD RS, LCD enable, LCD data line 4. These are the copy because these are need now several times. 5, 6, Seven. Now I defined my LCD object. Okay. Yeah. And then it's pretty easy. Actually, it's really now easy because everything. This now was a little bit strange. Yeah, but we have to accept this. This. These are the pin names. Yeah. I named it because of this of this labeling here that way. And these are the things I need to tell the else the liquid crystal display, and everything else is covered. Yeah. Just like the serial, I have to start the LCD with begin. But now I don't tell tell it how many portrait. Yeah. I just tell how many columns and how many rows there will be. Okay, and then we print out something. LCD print just like, just like in 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 serial monitor serial stuff. Yeah, and I write our school name. Wonderful. Yeah. So let's upload. Yeah, this time I said upload. <laughs> Ooh. Error, error, why? LCD RS, LCD ES, of course. Yeah. There is a typo on the keyboard. E and R are neighbors. Upload. What is happening? A little bit too bright, yeah. I will turn off the brightness. Aha! Uh -huh. 
ta ta Hatil sankt something. Okay. This is very common. Yeah, this is very common. The coding we talked about uh, we talked about this. The coding of characters, this is just a code. Yeah, and there are different codes available. There's this ASCII code, there are different code pages. <sighs> and it seems like our LCD panel is not supporting the German Ö. Yeah. What a pity. Yeah. So I will not write some burden. I will OE simply use the turnout. And here it's written HTL St. Burton. Great. Okay, so this worked. Yeah. Now, yeah. I want to give out some, some more data. Yeah. Yeah. I'm eager. I'm, 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 I'm eager. Yeah. So, I want to lcd.print millis divided by 1000. Well, I want to print out the the seconds. Upload. Aha. 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 See what happening? It's printing, 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 printing. I have to define the the location. Okay. This I can also do with LD LCD set cursor. That's also a method. I don't want to write in a column null and and oh that's the first sign and that's the second row. Yeah. First starting with zero is the first one and that's the second row because the other one would be zero. So yeah. So I now set the cursor to exactly to the beginning. This is because and how is this looking? Much better. Much better. Yeah. This is because every time we print something the cursor jumps one position further. Yeah. And if it's ending here, it starts here also. So we're always printing the whole and here we're setting set cursor to this position, right the right the seconds. Okay. So nobody nobody can stop us stop us now from putting out something a little bit more meaningful than seconds running okay. for training yeah for training you can just put out you can just put out here also the seconds in binary format yeah. this would be a nice training because then you have to position the cursor right and so on uh, why not? Yeah. So this would be your task in in this exercise. So this is how it should look like. Yeah. If I release the, the reset button now, then the seconds are starting to run. Here we do have the seconds in decimal format. Here we do have the seconds in binary format. Yeah. This is this is your task. That's it for the displays. Yeah? We can now display data with the help of some LEDs. We can display data with the help of the serial monitor. We can display data with the help of, of uh, seven segment displays. And we can display data with the help of this, these LCD panels. Yeah? There are also touch panels out there. It, they need a little bit more sophisticated approaches. This take this as starting point and I think you're fine. Yeah? If you understand how to, to do this, then you could probably also call some some uh, resistive or touch, let's call it touch 
touch panels. Yeah? There are pretty nice fit things out there, yeah, where you can really, it really looks then somehow already professional, yeah, with looks a little bit like like a LED system. Okay, so next time we are going to talk about temperature measurement, temperature and humidity measurement. Yeah? There is a sensor inside. Yeah? So we will, we will anyway, so then we will build a weather station. Okay, build a weather station. We use the LCD panel to write, to write, uh, temperature and humidity. Yeah? Then we have something meaning meaningful on the LCD panel. Yeah, so that's that's it for this time. Thank you very much for listening. Yeah. See you next time. Goodbye.